and welcome to a new bullet journal plan with me. Today we're going to set up my bullet journal for the month of December, of course doing a festive Christmas theme. We're starting right off with sticking in my cover page, a snow globe I prepared earlier. For this month I again made some self-made stickers, this time little gingerbread cookies and I'm using different kinds of wrapping paper to decorate my pages. As always, I'm adding in a mini calendar to my cover page to have an overview right away. I'm also using lots of washi tape this month, which I'm super excited about. I have so much washi tape and I barely ever use it, but we're gonna change this now. Here I'm setting up my monthly log and it would have been smart to measure it out beforehand, which I usually always do. Of course this time I did not, so I had to relocate the tape and squeeze in the last few days. Then I put in those light grey lines to divide the log into the individual weeks of the month and again added a mini calendar. And on the right side of the spread I'm creating space for me to write down my goals and to-dos for December. This is my habit tracker, as always with the mini calendars for the habits I want to track and the graph where I track my mood, hours of sleep and productivity, but each of those categories also has its own, more detailed spread on one of the following pages. Now I'm setting up my sleeping and productivity log and I think those both will be much needed spreads for me in December. Now onto my mood tracker for December. I'm starting by drawing in those three lines, then I'm drawing Christmas ornaments, bells, stars and Christmas stockings hanging from those lines and after that I also number them. Each day I can fill in an ornament in the color corresponding my mood for that day and next to my mood tracker I'm setting up my focus page and also the section for my art ideas.
thought it would be a cute idea to use those little tags I made for that and I really like it. So here I'm creating the table where I track my weekly progress in reaching the goals I've set myself for December and on the other side there's my milestones page where I write down all my wins and accomplishments, big or small, to keep myself motivated. This month I also added a new section, I put in another tag where I will write down my biggest accomplishment of December. Next we have my spending log. This time I wanted to try out something new, because my old layout isn't working for me any longer. I don't think this layout will really work for me either, so stay tuned for January and what spending log layout I will come up with in the new year. This layout works like this. On the top there are my payments or finance things that happen on a monthly basis. For example, my salary, my scroller box subscription, my Patreon subscriptions and so on. And on the bottom there is my regular table to track my expenses. Below that we have, as always, my shopping list and my wish list. And on the right side I'm setting up a list where I can plan out all the Christmas presents for friends and family members. As you can see this spread is already finished, because someone, me, forgot to press the record button. Anyways. This is my Christmas bucket list, where I will add in all the activities I want to do and all the movies I want to watch in December. And then we also have my memories page, where I will stick in some photos. Now to my social media tracker, using the same layout as always. Here I have an overview over my social media posts and my editing progress and I can also take notes for my videos and collect video ideas. Here we have my two diary pages. On the first one I'm again using wrapping paper and my self-made gingerbread stickers to decorate the page. And on the second spread I'm using a sticker pack 
And also those two Christmas stems you saw in an earlier spread already. And now to the last spread for the December setup, my first weekly spread. I again forgot to record the beginning of this, but I only drew in the lines and sticked in the little pieces of wrapping paper. Now I'm stamping in the dates and put in those little Santa stickers with the dates on them. I have used this layout now for a while and I love it so much. On the left I put in the five most important events or to-dos for the day. And on the right I have daily to-do lists that go much more into detail. After finishing the setup, I put in the things that are already scheduled for the week. And here we already are at the final flip through for the December plan with me. I really enjoyed this theme because Christmas is one of my favorite times of the year. I hope you also enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my art or my bullet journal spreads, you can click on another video or check out my Instagram page at arts underscore melina or my Twitter page. The links are always in the description box down below. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. See you in my next video. Bye!